Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor of State for Education, President of the Year Award it is a great pleasure that I present this to the message of the special and very impactful landmark occasion of the 2022 Mochila Teacher of the Year Awards. This event marks another milestone in our collective efforts at revamping the education sector to better serve the critical needs and aspirations of the generality of Nigerians. We all are aware of the fact that no nation or society can protect beyond its education system. In, in addition, no education reform will take place without teachers that implement the curriculum mentor learners, assess progress, navigate and sustain the entire resources of the community. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Nigeria education system is focused on preparing its children for the responsibilities of citizenship and national development. And this can only be achieved by the efforts of qualified, innovative and disciplined teachers such as the ones we have gathered to celebrate today. I would like to inform this that of growing national efforts to bring back the glory days of teachers in Nigeria. The new teaching policy developed by the Federal Ministry of Education in collaboration with education sectors is addressing the career paths, remuneration, teaching standards, qualification, and other vital issues to recapitalize teaching profession. The Ministry is focusing on implementing the five strategies of teacher education, capacity building, and professional development as contained in our Education for Change, a mysterious strategic plan in Mexico. Education is our collective responsibility, and its failure can well be taken as a failure of entire country. It is based on this that the Federal Ministry of Education recognizes and commends the efforts of Nigerian railways to finish the UR Education Trust to celebrate outstanding teachers across Nigeria. The Ministry appreciates the cash prizes to teachers, the capacity building opportunities and provision of educational resources and the infrastructure to schools. These attractive packages will in no small measure motivate and inspire more teachers and organizations to work towards being outstanding. I must not fail to commend their bodies across all categories and charge you to know that this award calls for more commitment and dedication. I also celebrate all the teachers who participated at different levels in this year's competition. In conclusion, Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I especially thank and congratulate Nigerian Congress on this input making ceremony and sincerely request the organization to please partner with the Federal Ministry of Education to revive the Ministerial Academic Competition for students which will be flagged off before the year 2022. This competition for secondary school students decided in there to support our children to meet readers, all know our leaders and champions. I thank you all for this. Thank you.